Hi, Calmer Mamas. This is Michelle Noble from the Calmer Mom Project, and I made a commitment to do these videos, these little blog videos, every week on Mondays. So uh, now I'm I'm recording this as I'm going to pick my son up. Um, but so I, the question for this week or this last week, if you watched the video, was uh, and I was thinking particularly about morning time and the kind of the crunch to get out the door to catch the bus and the question was what would it take for this to be fun and what would it take for this to be easy and I got some fun feedback on the Facebook page so I invite any more of that would be awesome um, but uh, anyway so here's a, a little a couple things that came up one is I just really it made me aware of how much of the crunchiness is to do with my own agendas in the morning and to play, get to play with letting go of some of that. Um, and one way to let go of that is, is actually, it's a great tool that you can use all the time. Um, anytime things get stressed is we have this tendency to really kind of clamp down our energy, um, clamp down, go into kind of this like tense place. And that actually just makes everything harder. I think most of us have, have noticed that. Um, and so if you can just imagine letting your energy actually expand and deliberately relaxing your body and letting your energy expand when things get sticky and crunchy, um, that can help with being able to, to like notice other possibilities besides just getting even more stressed out. Um, but there are, there's one little thing I wanted to mention about. I had this great conversation with my husband who was, um, I'm stopped now, so if I'm looking at the phone, you don't have to freak out that I'm going to run over somebody. Um, anyway, so I had this great conversation with my husband, and he was talking about work stress, but he was talking about how, you know, when you're angry, when you're stressed about something and you go into anger, um, how you kind of have a couple possibilities. There's, there's this, the angriness sometimes can create this energy that moves you forward into making a change that says this is just not acceptable and moving you forward into change um but also there's another thing or or you can notice that maybe the anger isn't serving you and you're maybe taking on something or getting fixated on something that doesn't matter or taking on something that doesn't belong to you isn't your responsibility trying to maybe caretake other people and other people's agendas and you can just again that idea of just expanding your energy and relaxing and letting go and maybe saying hey you know I know I know this is what you'd like me to do, and this is actually what works for me, or this is what I can do for you, or this is what, you know, whatever, however it, it fits in that given situation. Um, but what does not work is to actually feel the tension and the anger on the inside and pretend you're letting it go um, when you're not, when it's not actually dissipating. And um, so there was this kind of funny thing, too, see if all these dots even connect, where um, I get frustrated because I don't want to pick up the house after the kids all the time. I want them to get in the habit and encourage them to clean up their own messes. But then oftentimes I'll get really frustrated or angry with like kind of like how much effort it takes to get them moving to focus on that task. And so there was a time this weekend where I was just like, you know, I just want it cleaned up enough I can vacuum. What works for me is just to get this done. But out of the space of kind of like being all angry and crunchy about it and resentful. So I just started cleaning things up, just cleaning, pulling things, you know, shoving them in the dress-up clothes box, blah, blah, blah. And it's interesting because I didn't even ask the kids really to help, but they saw what I was doing and they jumped in. And what ended up happening is not only did we get the house tidied up enough that I could do the vacuuming and things that I wanted to do, but this project that's kind of been sitting out there a long time of getting my daughter to sort through her clothes and get them put away in her drawers instead of in a pile, that actually happened too. So isn't it interesting that when I, yes, got angry, which maybe wasn't that useful, but instead of just pretending I wasn't angry when I really was, I went into action to just say, hey, maybe this isn't perfect, maybe this isn't them cleaning up them for themselves like I'd always like them to do, but it's getting the job done, and that's what works for me right now and then what ended up happening is they chipped in a lot to get things done so that's kind of interesting this idea of when we're angry 
you know, what is that? What can we do with that? Um, can we relax into it? Can we recognize that it's actually a distraction from something else that's not working? Is it a sign that there's another possibility or something else we could do that we're not acknowledging? Is it where we've made like a, a commitment to something that isn't actually going to work, like committing to always have the kids pick up after themselves and maybe that's just not, doesn't actually work for me to always have to work on that actively teaching them that skill and there are times when I could work to teach it teach them that skill and there are times when I could just let it go and get the job done and that's all fine there doesn't need to be a right or a wrong or a judgment attached to that so anyway that was kind of scattered as I got over here to pick my boy up I got to go get him so I can meet my daughter at the bus another scattered calmer mom minute (laughs) or five I hope that gives you some food for thought and and I think I'm just gonna have that be my my toy this week is continuing to ask what would it take for this to be easy what would it take for this to be fun and really really noticing those first minutes you know as best as I can when I can when the frustration comes up about something is that telling me that something I'm doing in that minute isn't or choosing isn't really working and so maybe I could just ask like what is another possibility is this a place where I should let go of my expectations or what I've made like a commitment to do that isn't actually even maybe what's going to be the most, um, create the most for anybody involved. So just kind of playing in that, playing in that awareness. When I get frustrated, what is that asking for? What's the change that's possible there? Um, yeah, so, uh, I'd love it if you would play with me too and ask what else is possible. All right. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye.